Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. Today we're at a friend's house and here behind me is an old mill. There's a little creek over this way and on the other side is an old cave. So first we're gonna go in that cave and then there's also a dump down that way. So we're gonna go explore that because I've seen what looks like an old washing machine and I wanna make sure that that's what it actually is. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, this is the cave. I chickened out last time I was here, and I got chased, so I should be good. Oh, it's so narrow. Oh, and it's wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do not jump scare me. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no more rice. We've had enough of those. Should have probably brought something brighter. Come on, it goes deeper. Mm. Oh my gosh. Do you have a phone flashlight? Nope. Hang on. Let me... Did you see a white? So I said it's stupid bright. <laughs> the 13 Pro Max. Uh, oh wait. Crazy that oh time. my gosh. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. How is this possible? Dude? I don't know. What in the ringworm is that? <laughs> dude. Hang on. Let me try to turn on my flashlight. Hit wrong one. If I see a big snake, best believe I'm booking. <laughs> Just wait for me. I'm good. <laughs> you don't mind snakes. <laughs> what the pins? Hey, it's the camera spot. You oh, go gosh. first. All right. Look, there's a hole down there. How far does that go down? That means there's something living in this cave. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> Shrek. Have you ever gone in a cave before? Not like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that? Cave crickets. Oh cave gosh, crickets. they're all over the place. Ooh. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, it should not be this squeamish. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. Oh my gosh. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I should not be freaking out about this. I just can't look at him. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there's bones. Nice. That's not freaking How out. How bone is it? Well, that's a vertebrae. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I'm filming anything. Oh my gosh. There's cave crickets everywhere. My gosh. There's a poo upside down. <laughs> Where is it? Let's see. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. This is awesome. That sounds hollow. Does it sound hollow to you? Oh my gosh, it does. That sounds hollow. It does. <laughs> Careful, we might fall through. Oh my gosh, it's in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I've eaten crickets before, but it was on accident. <laughs> and again, it's on accident. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool as mess. That is. Oh, I didn't know it went that deep. Ugh. Like seriously, Ugh. something that small, it went that deep. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, and I got the heebie jeebies. Ugh. 12 seconds later. Here's the old mill. This would be awesome to play airsoft in. You can hide and like peek up through those holes and stuff. Oh my gosh, I almost lost my foot. Like, I'm not kidding. Come here. Alright, guys, so. We just found this. I stepped on it, it went through my boot and poked my foot. Luckily I stopped before it went all the way through my foot. But that could have been bad. <laughs> it is a square nail. And I'll show it again at the end of the video once we've cleaned it up, but that is one heck of a nail. <laughs> I can't believe I stepped on this. In fact, here I'll show you a picture of my boot because this went through my boot. So here we have the um, foundation of either a house or a store. So people could have brought their grain up to the mill to get it ground and then sold here in the store. This wall goes around, it's taller than me. And here are the old steps. Last time we were here, we found a key. It wasn't, didn't look too old, but it was like right in this area. 
Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the dump. Look at that. That is why I wanted to come back. Washing machine, that car down there, bucket, shoes and stuff, tires. All right, all right, cool. I'm gonna set this camera up and we'll bring you guys everything we find. Found an anchor hawking glass jar. I don't have the date codes memorized for these, but there's a seven on the left, a 27 on the right. That anchor hawking logo's on the bottom. And on the top it says L-4012. So, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Alright, so I think it might be like a, um, uh, a motorcycle ride-on toy. So that the rear part, that'd be where you sit. And here's the front fuselage, you go on there. And here's the steering, here would go right there. You can steer, steer around, have fun. But, that's what it might be, I don't know. That's what it reminded me of, so. I think you're right. I guess it is. This is one of those little riding cars that the old toddlers ride on. There's the front end for like a some kind of car, I don't know. Just ride on it, it has all that good stuff. And it steers. I was looking to see a suspension right there. All that cool stuff. But yeah, these things are pretty cool. Here's the back wheel. <laughs> yeah, the axle fell out from underneath. So You did not see that. Yeah. Insurance claim was entitled. Here we have the washing machine that we pulled out. I mean, for being in the woods for so long, it's not in terrible condition. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty good. And right here, all right, so that says manufactured by Alterfer Bros Company in Peora, Illinois. All right, that's four pieces. I accidentally broke one off. Put it together and read what it says. I think I know what it is. Now, here, take all the pieces out of my hand. Flip them over and put them together. <laughs> Careful, that broke that off easily. Butterfly. Can you read, read what it says at the bottom? I wish I had my brushes. All I see is... The very bottom. Right here? Made in occupied Japan. Wait, what? Yes. I think it's a hard... It almost looks like... Stop focusing. The chrome on a, a harmonica. Take a picture later. Oh. It does! Oh, yeah! Yeah. yeah. Um, you got these out of order because you could read Japan on it. So Which ones? those two slide that way, and that goes there. I'm not good at puzzles. <laughs> yeah, and now you can read it. Made in occupied Japan. Oh, and it's got a serial number or something on it. Yeah, so, so that was made right at the end of World War II, when we occupied Japan. Oh. That is crazy! And I think it's from a harmonica. And there's another piece. I, I might have lost it. Oh. Oh my goodness! It's insane! Try to reorganize it so I can see better. Alright guys, I'm back home. I've had a chance to clean up all the bottles. And first, I want to show you the harmonic piece. Here it is. See, it's like that reference picture that I showed you guys. Although we never found the end of it, but it looks pretty good. I glued it on popsicle sticks so we wouldn't lose all the little pieces. 
This is probably the most interesting find that we found. Here we have one of the reeds from the harmonica. We have a Biltmore half gallon milk jug it's from their dairy. We found this Coca-Cola bottle. The top's broken off and I can't really figure out how old it is because the marks on the bottom look like a 1L55 and then a 1 underneath and I don't see any other manufacturing marks on it. Usually if they're not on the bottom, they're like right here, but there's none. So if y'all know how old this is or have any guesses, let me know in the comments. Another half of a Coca-Cola bottle. This one, the glass is a whole lot thicker, so I know it's a lot older. And it's also like a darker green color. See? And obviously the bottom's broken off, so there's not really any marks either that can tell me the date. We found this is a Texas. I hope I'm saying that right, Texas cleaner bottle. Um, it was made by Heinz, it looks like. So, there's quite a few of these. I only brought home this one, though. Coca-Cola bottle. Here we have the Coca-Cola bottle. We found a paste salsa jar. There are quite a few of these. This one was made by Anchor Hawking. Some of these date codes were difficult, though, because the date code, which is right here, it was before they started using this logo. So I'm not sure on how old this really is. Found this fancy little jar. It's got these measurements on both sides. On this side it has the one and two thirds, one and one third, one cup and two thirds. On the other side it has one and one half, one and one fourth, one cup, three fourths, and one half. Not sure who made it because I don't see any manufacturer marks on it. But it's a little pretty jar. Let me know if you guys know who made this or what it was used for. Here we have a 7-Up bottle. All the paint is gone. You can only see a little bit of the residue, but it's not going to show up really on camera. It's hard to see just looking at it, so I know it's not going to show up on camera. But, in fact, here is a picture of what this bottle looked like before all the paint was washed off of it. Um, I know that's what it looked like just because I can see a little bit of the residue I like the person with their hands up in the air next to the 7-Up. Uh, but it was made by Owens, Illinois. It has their old mark with a date code of 52, a factory code of 3, and a mold the lower number is a 1 with a period after it, and the upper number is G-94. So, a little 7-Up bottle. Here we have a Pepsi bottle. Um, I think that is a little bit of Pepsi left in it still, which is kind of surprising because all the paint's gone on the lid. But you can see here, see this is the their signature. See here's the lid with the logo. The red's kind of rusted over so you can't really see it. But I could not get the lid off to clean it. So a little bit of Pepsi might stay in there for the rest of eternity. But it was made by... According to these marks, I think it was made by Anchor Hawking because it's got their old logo with the AK. Sorry. With... So from the bottom of this bottle, it looks like it was made by Anchor Hawking. It has the AHK logo. Um, and then the date codes and mold numbers, I don't have those memorized. But the one on the right is 27. The. Sorry, excuse me. The one on the left is 27. The one on the right is 70. And then it's got the other codes and stuff. We found this, I think it's, I think it was an orange juice jar. It says one quart um, seal test. It says seal test all the way around it. Um, made by Anchor Hawking with the Anchor and H logo. Yeah, you can kind of see the logos a little bit. Anchor Hawking one down here. And the other codes on the sides. We also found this little thing, it, I think it is part of an oil lamp. You can see there's like a metal ring here on the bottom. And then this part I assume like went up and like flared out and open. It's got this hole in the middle. Um, we never found the rest of it, but it was cute because it had a little plant growing in it. 
All right, we found this mug. It is a Homer Laughlin mug. It was made in March of 1944 in Newell's Potteries in Newell, West Virginia with plant number eight. You see here on the bottom the date codes and the name. It's in pretty good condition. It just has this one little crack. But if you guys are interested in buying any of the things that I've shown you here and any of the things I've shown you in any of my other videos, I now finally have an eBay store where you guys can go and buy all the things that I show you guys. This is the nail that I stepped on. I am still shocked that it did not go through my foot. But it was a good reminder that when Jesus died on the cross, he took the nails for us. So now we don't have to go through severe punishment if we trust in him as our Lord and Savior. We found this. I was thinking it could be something like they, they would hang on a chain over a fire and they could hang a pot here to like cook with or my dad mentioned it could be like rings for kids to play on and stuff but I'm not sure so if you guys know what this is please let me know. Alright guys thanks so much for watching please like subscribe comment on your favorite thing that we found and I'll see you on the next one.